This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I'm talking about Alice Cooper defending Marilyn Manson, and he also takes this chance to defend Johnny Depp. This article here is from a website I've never seen. It's called Blabbermouth. Not what I would name a website, but okay. It's called Alice Cooper Comments on Marilyn Manson Abuse Allegations. Nothing against the website, I'm just picky about names sometimes. Alice Cooper has commented on the abuse allegations leveled against his one-time tour mate Malin Manson, saying that he has never noticed a violent streak in him. A month ago, Westwood actress Evan Rachel Wood named Manson as the previously anonymous abuser she referenced while testifying before the California Senate in relation to the state's Phoenix Act, which extends the statute of limitations on domestic violence from three years to five. And by the way, I've got nothing against what Rachel Wood did there. That's fine. It's a legitimate complaint about how the act works, I think. I'm just not totally sure she's got enough evidence to actually come out and say this. On February 1st, Wood claimed in a social media post that Manson groomed and horrifically abused her for years. After she shared her accusations, at least half a dozen other women came forward with their own allegations against the singer. The women claimed to have endured sexual assault, psychological abuse, and or various forms of coercion, violence, and intimidation at the hands of Manson. Asked in a new interview with NME for his opinion on the allegations against Manson, Alice said, It's funny about Marilyn in that I know Marilyn. When we toured together, we got along very well. I never noticed that streak in him, if it's there. I always believe in the word. Still, allegations are still allegations. And then, he goes on to reference Johnny Depp, and nobody asked him to, but he wants to defend Johnny anyway. He says, first of all, here's a prime example. Johnny Depp, Cooper continued, referencing the actor and his Hollywood vampires bandmate, whose ex-wife, Amber Heard, wrote an opinion piece in the Washington Post, which implied... He was violent towards her. Opinion is a very good word to add in there because that was just her stupid opinion. Johnny Depp and I are best friends. I've never seen him lift a finger against anybody. He's one of the most gentle people and all of his former girlfriends and wives say the same thing. So it's really hard to believe that all of a sudden he's going to turn into this monster. And I know the guy. I'm with the guy on tour all the time. He's one of the most gentle, harmless people I've ever met, which you hear quite a bit about Johnny. Now, I don't know Marilyn, though, as well as I know Johnny. So, what happens in the bedroom is entirely a mystery to me for what's going on with Marilyn. And that's the deal. It's a mystery to everybody, except those people who were in the bedroom with him. And, if they say something happened in the bedroom that was abuse, they've got to show some kind of evidence. Here's why. Marilyn Manson, and I was just thinking about this, as a rock star, I think has slept with a lot of women. I know guys here I used to go out drinking with who slept with hundreds. Just guys who were kind of doing it as a hobby, going out getting girls. So I can imagine that some people like, oh my god, 11 women came out against Marilyn Manson, and it seems like this big number, oh my god. But look, I'm going to assume... As a rock star, Marilyn Manson's been with a lot of women. So when you take that number 11, allegations by the way, let's not forget, and put that into probably well over 100, who knows, maybe two or 300, well, that seems a lot smaller of a number. That's my opinion. And all we've got here are opinions, basically. And Alice Cooper's opinion is, Well, Alan Manson, from what he can tell, is not a violent guy. Johnny Depp is definitely, definitely, definitely not a violent guy. And I know what you're thinking. Of course, Cooper's going to defend these two guys because, you know, they're friends and everything. But don't forget, he has a reputation and he's a performer. So it's not like he could just do it for free. He still takes a risk at this by putting his opinion out there for the people who will disagree. You guys, let me know what you think down below. I'm doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. Consider subscribing, doing Depth vs. Heard, follow Marilyn Manson, some Star Wars, 
some live streams, whatever comes up, whatever I could do. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.